Hey, welcome to Reviews in the Run. We have all kinds of proof that the PlayStation 2 is alive and kicking. Today on Reviews in the Run, Tommy and I are taking a look at God of War 2, SSX Blur, Def Jam Icon, and it versus its MLB 2K7 against MLB 07 The Show. Some of the games we look at in Reviews in the Run are intended for a mature audience. Please pay attention to each game's ESRB rating. All right, first game I want to talk about is one of the most anticipated games of 2007. It is God of War 2. Yep. And oh my God, is this game fantastic. It's from the people at Santa Monica Studios, Sony's Santa Monica Studios for the PS2. Yep. And it is by far the best game I can play on the PlayStation 3 right now. The PlayStation 3. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty funny. It's, it's, it's true, true. too. It's amazing. It's incredible. <laughs> and it, you play a game like this and you go, why do I need a PlayStation 3? Right. Why, right. why do we need next generation? Imagine what God of War 3 is going to look like I on know, the PlayStation 3. I know, 3, and people have Imagine to take that. that first leap on the because software, but they made the right choice they sticking did. with the PS2. They did, because people forget that there's 120 whatever million PlayStation 2s out there. They know how to tweak Lots this machine. Lots of people are still using PlayStation yeah. 2, and this is the title that cannot be missed over anything it's else. Unbelievable. unbelievable. I mean, this game, the look, the graphics in this game look better than most Xbox games. They look better than us. They look better than us. Yep. They look just as good as a PlayStation 3 and Wii games. I'm, I know. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I know. It's a fixed camera. I mean, the, the computer takes control of the camera, so maybe it's not opening up and showing you every single part of the world. But that's a very smart thing for these guys to do because the camera AI is intelligent. Yes. It follows Kratos perfectly. Yes. You never feel like you need to control the camera. Correct. And they've added extra kinds of abilities. Kratos was a kick-ass dude in the original God of War. Now he can do cool things like throw out his uh, his chains and actually swing from them. Yeah. There's riding the Pegasus type levels with that's flaming a, wings on the Pegasus. And that's the that's big story for me is that the, the, the you can actually get on a Pegasus. I would have liked to have seen more flying levels in yeah, fact. yeah, the storytelling, the script writing, like right at the beginning, Kratos kind of loses all his powers, so he has to go back and kind of get them again, and he has to fight Zeus and just. And how about the music God. as well? Music's phenomenal. Music, Gerard Marino doing the coming back and doing the music the, again. The, Unbelievable. This is state of the art video game development, man. This is what we are all passionate about. This is why we buy our consoles. This is the real deal. This game is going to do so well. We're going to see this character in all kinds of stuff. I can't wait till Sony makes the uh, rumor. There's a God of War movie I, even coming. I, I wouldn't. I would expect to see 300 Kratos style Kratos kart racing. We're going to see Kratos in a Super Ouch. Smash Brothers oh. ripoff game. Oh, <laughs> Imagine no. that. No, no. Kratos is like kicking ass on Kratos, Ratchet and Clank. Kratos and tennis. There you, Kratos tennis. The sheer size yeah. and scale. They've got some big ass statues in this game, yeah. but they also have some these horses. Yeah. And you're on the chains of that. It's Dude, there unbelievable. Was, there was, I was trying to like lift fingers of a giant off. He held my Pegasus under him, right. and I had to like, like I was at his nail. I was just like a little sliver, and I was like trying to hit the fingers so they would get off my horse. It was ridiculous. It's a mature rated game, though, we should it say. It is that. mature rated. Lots of people getting their heads cut off, lots of lots cool of bosses. Blood. It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. Incredible, incredible and, game. But the thing is about the violence, too, that it, it's just not like throwing in for violence sake. No. I mean, because or, or of the, the sex, because the there's game. sex in the game, too. Oh, shoot, we forgot to talk about the sex. Did you like the sex? The, I, you know, it was. It was okay. It was good. It was good sex in the game. Everything's been refined and finessed. It just plays beautifully. It's like, yeah. If you're over 18, you own a PlayStation 2, you don't have this game, you just you just hurt yourself. Yeah. Why do it? <laughs> Get it. It's a classic. This is what we all play games for. 10 out of 10. 10 here as well. On the positive side, they've refined all of the fantastic elements from the previous God of War gameplay. You can ride a Pegasus with flaming wings and get some real cool flight action going on. Classic storytelling and lots of sex and violence for Tommy there as well. On the negative side, it's mature rated, which means that if you're too young, you can't play it. Na 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 na. 
Hola amigos, me llamo es Victor Lucas, and I've been playing Chili Con Carnage on my PSP, and it's uh, it's kind of a de facto type sequel to uh, Total Overdose, which came out on the uh, PlayStation 2 and Xbox not too long ago. That was an okay game, it was pretty fun, pretty goofy, it was kind of like a uh, Robert Rodriguez Grand Theft Auto type ripoff. And this follows in that vein, although they've trimmed down the gameplay considerably, so they've really just focused on the uh, combat and jumping into these very, very fun and explosive situations. And all the story bits uh, are sort of told in little cutscenes between each of the different levels that load up. Total over-the-top kind of stuff. You're jumping in slow motion and shooting at bad guys all over the damn place. You're picking up shotguns and rifles and blasting away at explosive barrels. Lots of kind of crazy dialogue. Cool music. I like the visual effects. The controls take a little bit of getting used to, but I think that has more to do with the lack of the dual analog on the PSP. I enjoyed this. Big surprise. Chili Con Carnage for the PSP is definitely worth checking out. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. All right, it's a Wii game after the break. We're talking about SSX Blur, an exclusive for the Wii, right Whee! after this.